well, after a few all prices have gone up or down, you might still want to enjoy your football. So time for the sport of Paul Sam Gary Ausman. Today we are talking about the Black Stars and what the future holds for them. Now that we um, are very much aware and the reality has sunk in that there will be no Ghana and the national anthem being played in Russia at the World Cup. Italy will also not have their national anthem there after they crashed out following a two-legged defeat to Sweden. It means that it's their first non-participation in the World Cup since 1958. First of all, we hear from Chris Yapia on what the future holds. He says that there will be uh, no mass player collapse in 2018. As I kept saying, next year, you know, I'll only... I would only depend on very um, few players who are actually doing well. You know, I will not make uh, this um, mass collapse anymore. You know, um, because sometimes, it, as you are aware, I do call up um, four or five players at a particular game. And next year, you know, it's important we build on the core players that we have assembled, you know, together with the old players that we've not even invited. You know, we get all of them together. And then, you know, we have a... Um, you know, uh, a good thing. The bottom line is, if someone is doing well next year, then fine, maybe it should be one or two, but it will not be like um, this year where I invited um, a lot of players. So that's Chris Yapia speaking about it. So Alvin Saki is with the Joy Sports Desk and he'll be giving us his opinions on that. We've discussed this before on the football show, but we've not had the chance. It's the first time I'm actually seeing the video because the story first appeared in the graphic sports newspaper, and there was so much controversy with Chris Yapia himself saying that probably the quotes were not, you know, done properly and the context given to the story was wrong. But, I mean, having heard it, flesh and blood, I mean, it's not like flesh and blood don't reveal these things to you. This is the man talking there. Yeah. What do you think? Well, yeah, we've had so many interpretations about what he meant by making mass call-ups and who is going to call. He yeah. said that there's not going to be anyone inside. But we all know Chris Yapi has been trying new guys. He's been getting players inside the squad. And this time he wants to tell us that um, the ones that he's assessed, that the ones that are going to be called up in the next um, tournaments or maybe friendlies or whatever is going to come. So we are not going to see any new names. But then, if possibly there could be some... Um, performances that they are doing well, they could come in, but then we are not going to see totally different names. The ones that we have are the ones that he's going to pay attention to. Mm. So that, that's it. But the obvious question then is, if he, so is he, first of all, let me ask you before jumping the gun, is he shutting the door, per your interpretation? Is he shutting the door from 1st January 2018 to any new Ghanaian players anywhere in the world who, you know, play well or have good form? Well, um, the video didn't show that, but during his press conference, he said that he's not totally shutting the door, but if there could be some exemptions, he okay. could let them come in, okay. but not totally that nobody... So, so what he's come. saying, essentially, is that he's now going to have a core exactly. team and then try to build around exactly. them. Okay. Now, the other thing is, this core team, what it will be... He has given a lot of call-ups to a lot mm -hmm. of players in the last four, five, six months, four, five months. Mm -hmm. um, it will mean then that some of the established players we know will be getting the chop possibly they could be getting the chop and it's all about he rebuilding the team and it's exactly what Ghanaians have been looking for and sure. i think that's what the team needs the team needs something new we need some new players to come in fresh blood and because even against Egypt, we saw players like nana Poma on his debut impressive didn't do badly at all very good player he gave some passes to rafa jimna who he missed but it was unfortunate that he had an early injury so players like that I think will be called back and if someone like that is inside then somebody definitely needs to go out <laughs> yeah yeah, uh, there can only be a set number of players in the Black Stars at a time when call-ups are made for qualifiers and friendly matches. So, that will be, uh, that's the Cape Coast Stadium. Solomon was there at the weekend as well. Very good crowd and all that. It was a dress rehearsal for Egypt as they got ready for their World Cup. And speaking of which, there will be no Italy in Russia. No Italy in Russia. I, that sounds very... Weird saying well, that. Yeah, after, yeah. After 60 years, we are not going to see the great Italian team in the World Cup, and that's very bad for football as a whole. Bad for a, a great legend like Gianluigi Buffon, who that was going to be his last game, and it's sad that it had to end that in Milan or um, San Siro yesterday. I, I, I disagree with you that it's sad for Buffon. The guy has played four World Cups. He has won one of the World Cups. 
What is sad about not playing another one? Well, well I mean, for, for, <laughs> for such a defeat at home yesterday, it was well, yeah, quite yeah, a I mean, You know, the, the, the narrative in the international media has been, oh, Buffon has been a great servant of the game. And so the guy has played four World Cups and he has won one of the World Cups. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, well, we will not really miss them like that. Yeah, but you know? definitely, no matter how many times you've been and you know the occasion. I mean, you've been to World Cups and you know how it is there. Yeah, he yeah, definitely yeah, wants know, to I be know. around and again. And um, as you may know, before, immediately after the game, retired from international football. And yesterday, we announced on the football show, because we saw on the reputable Italian media outlet online, that the coach Ventura had also left his job. Now, 24 hours later, the guy says he has not said anything. And guess what? I mean, if it were a Ghanaian politician, we'll say, does he take us for fools? Meanwhile, there's a video of him actually saying that I have resigned. But he says he has never said that. So um, that's it. Thank you, Selwyn, Anything. for that. For, but, well, if there's no Italy, we'll have to uh, get used to other countries featuring because Sweden made sure that they won't be there. And the other argument about Sweden is, we'll discuss that later, should they get Zlatan Ibrahimovic out of retirement to help them? Or, like I think, it will be an insult to the players who labored to qualify for the World Cup to bring him to help them. That's the sport for now. And uh, we'll be back at 8.30 to bring you the latest. Gary L. Smith.